Don't you hate it when your phone keeps buffering a video or it's slow in loading a web page? Researchers at the Institute of Electromagnetic Fields of ETH Zurich are looking into new ways to make wireless communication speeds faster and faster. The Internet, as we know it today, is based on a global network of optical fiber cables that connect the entire planet. Those cables have extremely high speeds of hundreds of terabits per second. In practice, this means that each of those cables could carry more than a hundred Blu-ray movies in one second. However, everyone wants to connect to the Internet wirelessly using their mobile device without using any cables at all. The conversion from fiber to wireless Internet occurs here at the so-called access points. In these access points, the Internet signals that move along the optical fiber are converted to wireless signals that can propagate through the air and reach the users. At the moment, the speed of wireless connections is only 100 megabit per second at best, about 1000 times lower than that of the fibers. Today, the number of mobile devices is increasing extremely fast over time, and every device is being connected to the internet, including household appliances, cars, medical equipment, and so on. In this context, the wireless connections are creating a real wireless bottleneck that blocks the increase of connection speeds. Maurizio and his colleagues are working on novel technologies that bring together the world of photonics and electronics to improve the speed of wireless systems. Current state-of-the-art wireless systems are built like this. They use discrete components. Some of them convert the optical signals carried by the fibers into electrical signals. Other components amplify these signals and others transmit them into the air. The conversion from wireless to optical is performed in a similar way. Today, these components are very expensive and are all built separately. This gives additional loss, which in turn reduces the maximum speed. Maurizio recently received a grant from the National Science Foundation to create novel wireless transceivers that are faster, have a new functionality and a lower cost. The concept is quite simple. We will create novel technology platform by putting together the fastest electronics and the fastest photonics on the same chip. In this way, we can dramatically reduce the cost and increase the speed. This approach is challenging because it requires a strong knowledge of both high-speed electronics and photonics. With this approach, it should be possible to increase the wireless speeds by 100 to 1000 times, making the slow wireless internet a memory of the past.